Ladies and gentlemen, now it's a problem with a black child playing dodgeball. Yes, you heard me, dodgeball. <laughs> you know, many of us played that game growing up and we never had any issues or problems, but everybody being petty and oversensitive these days, you just can't do these kind of things anymore. In fact, it would be just better if you just get your kids out of these situations because petty people will be doing petty things every single day. Let me start this video. Started out as a playground game is landing a 10 year old in court on assault charges. He's accused of throwing a ball that hit and injured another child. Seven Action News reporter Jen Shans talked to parents tonight, joins us live from Canton with more on how all this happened, Jen. Well, Dave, it all happened here outside Erickson Elementary in Canton back in early April. That's where the two boys were playing, and that's where this incident occurred. But just a few days ago, one of the mothers was informed that her 10-year-old is charged with aggravated assault in juvenile court. These kids are basically playing a game that we all have played. But on April 29th, what seemed like a harmless game ended with one student getting seriously hurt. According to the boy's mother, who asked we not show her face, he has a rare medical condition, making head injuries especially dangerous. According to a police report, during that game, another student threw a ball at his face on purpose. He sustained facial tissue damage to his face. He had a black eye and a bruised nose. Records show the then fourth grader also suffered a concussion. His condition is something Kamishi Lindley says she and her son, Bryce, knew nothing about. Wednesday, Bryce was charged with aggravated assault. I couldn't believe it. This is on top of a one-day suspension, which occurred right after the incident. This is a kid that was playing on the playground with his friends. I tried not to let it get to this point. This mother claiming her son had been hurt before and that she reported it to the school. My son was hit twice in the face with the ball previously due to this, and the child apologized to my son, and he said, Mom, it's okay. Um, we're still going to be friends. I'm unaware of any of those situations. Sorry that her child got hurt. I'd be sorry for any child that got hurt. Lindley wishing that this could be solved in the classroom and not in court. Both mothers are telling me that this has really affected both of their children's ability to look forward to the coming school year. They're going into the fifth grade. Meanwhile, this case will be in juvenile court August 1st for a pretrial hearing. Live in Canton tonight, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. Yeah, sad for both of those families. Thank you, Jen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is bullshit, okay? This is a load of bullshit. If your kid have all of these complications and medical issues and he can't be out there doing this and doing that, why are you permitting him to play sports then? You know, especially a, a sport where you got to throw the ball at somebody. That's what dodgeball is. And if your kid is having all of these medical issues, all of these complications, why was this mother not responsible in contacting the school and say, look, I don't want my child out there playing because he got X, Y, Z condition and he should not be out there. There's a reason why this woman didn't want to show her face because it was a white woman. throwing criminal charges on a 10 year old black child over a damn dodgeball game. So you mean to tell me this 10 year old picked up this ball, threw it and did all that damage to your child. And again, if he has all of these medical issues, why would you let him be out there playing any sport if, if, if he's that delicate? You know, I, I just wish that our people would learn a lesson from these sort of things and get your child out of these schools. They are going to make these situations pure hell for your black child. They're going to do that. They've been doing it all along. We hear these incidents every year. I, I just, 
we played dodgeball all the time when I was growing up. I never recall anybody being brought up on criminal charges over a game. You know, these folks, they sure know how to kill a good time. <laughs> you can't have, look, we, we saw all kind. Remember, remember the time when um, those men were in a gym playing basketball and some white dude called the police <laughs> over a basketball game. <laughs> but see, that is the climate we're in now, y'all. You know, be careful about who you allow your children to play with. It, yes, it's coming down to that. If the child look like they are going to just... If they got that, I'm going to call the police on their face. When you recognize that, stay away. No no playing, no contact, no nothing. You're going to have to learn how to cut that stuff off. The climate that we're in, people are petty. They are frivolous. Your child is not going to be able to even play sports, even in gym class with some of these children. So this 10 year old is going to be charged as a criminal over a damn dodgeball game. Over a dodgeball game. And as far as I'm concerned, that mother that didn't show her face, that ain't nothing but guilt, y'all. That ain't nothing but guilt. She knows what she's doing is wrong charging a child with a crime over a dodgeball game you know what ladies and gentlemen if they're really that petty and frivolous you you got to get your kid out of these situations or let them know don't have contact with these kids at all you know because these kids over here will call the cops over stupid shit and and i don't understand why the school didn't play a better role in trying to resolve this whole thing without any criminal charges. So this is going down and the school is just idly by watching this frivolous stuff. You know, why is she not going after the school for allowing a dodgeball game that her kid really shouldn't have been participating in? If he's that medically sensitive, he should never have been participating in the dodgeball game. And the fact that he is that medically sensitive and got all kinds of problems, the mother, in my opinion, is irresponsible for not informing the school, don't let my kid play in any sports activities. They are not well. My child is not well. To me, that's the parent's responsibility to do that. But to sue now this kid is now going to be traumatized over a situation that should have easily been worked out but now he has to go to criminal court y'all over a freaking dodgeball game oh woo this shit gotta end it, it's gotta end y'all this thing got to have an ending we we cannot go on like this forever. I, I am so grateful we are up to year 400. This shit got to end. It's got to end, y'all. There is no way we can continue on this way. No way. I feel sorry for that child. Nobody should be brought up on charges over an activity at school that kids play all around this country. And now, because this parent is claiming their child is so fragile, this 10-year-old has to go to court instead of just keeping your kid out of all activity because something is medically wrong with them. That would have been the right thing to do. <sighs> oh, boy. 
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. I am so upset <laughs> about this, y'all. I can't even go any further with this story. Peace, family.